Hi, Mr. Key here, and this is the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. It's a pretty interesting device for one. This is the first device with a 108 MP camera. It's even too big for my mouth to say. And it also houses a really large battery in a thin body, guys. But guys, let's take it a step back. <laughs> Xiaomi is adopting a different pricing mechanism on the Mi Note 10. Now, unlike the Note 8, which is like under the 150,000 Naira price range, this costs about 180,000 Naira. And it puts it in the same category as the OnePlus 70 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite, which I've reviewed. Now, as far as the build is concerned, this is a premium device. It looks it and it feels like it. Now, it's an all glass build and it has, you know, curves around the edges. And to be very honest, this looks really, really good. The only issue that I have with it is the weight. Now guys, this is a very heavy device and you're going to feel the heft when you're holding it or when you're placing it in a pocket. But that is quite understandable given the fact that, you know, this house is a 5,260 mAh battery all in this thin body. I mean, something has got to give. And talking about battery, this actually charges in a stupid amount of time. I was able to charge it in one hour 20 minutes using the 30 watts charger that was in the box and guys that is insane. And speaking about boxes, I wonder when Xiaomi is going to start including earphones in their box. I don't know, I feel that they should remove the manuals and place earphones instead. Who is with me? But moving away from that to the 108 MP camera. And I'm sure most people are wondering how that fares. Well, in my opinion, it's a little bit of a mixture. Now, in good lighting condition, this guy does really well. And when you zoom into it, you can see all the details, especially if you're taking a picture of, say, something that has text. When you zoom into the text, you can actually read all the things there, which is pretty cool. But guys, in low light situations, the 108 MP camera doesn't shine at all. The image look quite noisy as a matter of fact the 27 mp camera on this guy performs better than the 108 mp camera which brings me to the point that megapixels don't really mean shit sorry <laughs> but yeah moving away from that to all the cameras and guys we have five cameras on this guy which is insane but moving away from the technical stuff um i love the color profile on the xiaomi mi Note 10 it's not too you know saturated or too contrasted like most smartphone cameras instead xiaomi has found a way to give you like a subtle look that really works let me know if you like the look in the comment box but yeah i'll be comparing it with the galaxy note 10 Lite. so give this video a like and also drop a comment if you want to see that comparison but moving away from that to other cameras so you have the two times zoom which is really nice you have the macro lens it's a 2mp camera but it does a really good job guys and yeah you also have the five times optical zoom although i think you should only use this in good lighting condition because in low lights the pictures have a lot of noise which is also expected now one issue that i noticed and that has to do with the wide angle camera is the fact that you know when you're using it your hand or your finger kind of gets in the way now if you put it on you'll probably see like your finger trying to cover that lens part and i think that's because of the way that the camera have been positioned but this is not a deal breaker since you can always adjust your hands another thing that i noticed has to do with the portrait lens now in well detailed environment it does well but in low light it is definitely not your go-to camera and the pictures that i got from it look over processed and soft now moving on to the video and guys they did a good job <laughs> when it comes to videos right this comes with image stabilization you also get a feature it's like a vlogging feature where you can take multiple shots and Xiaomi software will join it together to form a really cinematic video I totally see myself using this in the future to make you know short videos on social media Anyway, let's talk about the display and this comes with a 1080p AMOLED display that really works. 
now i try to pair it with you know the galaxy note 10 and the differences between these two um displays are not even significant of course you might tend to notice like a bluish tone on the xiaomi's display especially the whites but this can be adjusted in the color settings. Xiaomi has also borrowed a couple of features from Samsung. For example, you have the always on display and I love the fact that it has a lot of customizations. They also added the edge lighting which really makes the device look good because of all that curve. Now, just like any smartphone in 2020, you get an in-display fingerprint sensor and it's actually 7x9 mm thick as opposed to, you know, 7x7 7 7 that we're used to seeing. And as far as how that translates to how you unlock your device, I think it's really fast, guys. And I compared it with the um, Galaxy Note 10 Lite, which, you know, is in the same price bracket and I noticed that it is slightly faster than the Note 10 Lite. You also have face unlock as expected and guys, there's an earphone jack in it, there's a mono speaker which is not the loudest and I don't think the Mi Note 10 is going to get any major points in this department. But yeah, on top of that, you have the IR blaster, which is quite rare to see on smartphones these days. Now, as far as the specs are concerned, you have a UFS 2.1 storage, you have a Snapdragon 730G processor, and an Android Pi OS. Now guys, I intentionally spelled them out because these are the major drawbacks on the Mi Note 10, and I don't know why um, Xiaomi has not updated this to Android 10 yet, and if you think about it, this device was launched in late 2019 and by now I think they should have actually done the needful on this guy but yeah away from that you also have a Snapdragon 730G processor which might be a bit of a bummer for hardcore gamers or extensive users but guys while the Snapdragon 730G might be slightly outdated to some people I think that it does run well I don't think I noticed any you know major lag while using the device it can tend to be a little bit slower than most phones in the price range especially the oneplus 70 but overall it's actually quite okay in you know regular day-to-day -day activities and you can see this in the benchmark score now one thing you might likely notice while using this guy is the temperature now it gets a little bit above the warm benchmark when you are using it extensively or when you're charging it and you probably notice it around this spot of the device and yeah that is something that you have to know if you tend to get this device but yeah with that said um the Mi Note 10 is actually a quite impressive device the battery life is amazing you have good cameras but you know it's not an all-rounder as you can tell with the audio and with the performance but if you're looking for you know a device that you know can take good pictures then this should be in your list of options with that said i'm signing out and i'll see you in my next video take care